Graphing complex numbers. Our objectives in this tutorial are 1. To graph a complex number on the complex plane and 2. To find the absolute value of a complex number by determining its distance from the origin. So what is the complex plane? Well it looks just like the Cartesian plane. It has a horizontal axis and a vertical axis but instead of labeling our axes X and Y we label them R for the real part of a complex number and I for the imaginary part. So let's graph the complex number 6 plus 5i. We start at the origin. We count 6 in the positive R direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 5 in the positive I direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that point is our graph of the complex number 6 plus 5i. So what is the absolute value of 6 plus 5i? Well, the absolute value of a complex number is the distance from the origin to its point in the complex plane. So if we drop a line straight down from this point to the real axis, notice that we have a right triangle. If we call the sides of the triangle A, B, and C, and recall Pythagorean's theorem, which tells us that if you have a right triangle with sides A, B, and C, that C squared equals A squared plus B squared, or C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. So based on Pythagorean's theorem, we can derive the formula for the absolute value of a complex number, which is just the absolute value of the complex number A plus BI equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. So let's plug our number into it. Our number is 6 plus 5i, which equals the square root of 6 squared plus 5 squared, which equals the square root of 6 squared, which is 36, plus 5 squared, which is 25, which equals the square root of 61.